Hey guys, <clears throat> it's Roger with Tree Life Tree Service, 584 Tree, and we got a couple packages for you. And shout out to Nick, <clears throat> shout out to Tom. Um, thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for the comments. We really appreciate it. <clears throat> and today uh, is uh, Monday. Got a lot done today. Uh, went to the saw shop and just give you guys a little preview. You guys can see those pole saws behind me. And we also have another saw, brand new saw, that I went ahead and uh, splurged and got myself. And also, too, um, all those videos I've talked about, the new bars and chains, these are it. So stay tuned. I'm going to be swapping out all that stuff and giving detailed information on uh, the three saws that you need to have. Uh, if you don't have these three saws, um, those are the basic ones that you need, at least um, in my case scenario. Uh, if you have a bucket truck, there's three saws that you cannot live without. <clears throat> and these are the three I just bought today to replace my old ones. So, and I upgraded them all. And I got the new bars and chains um, to put on them. So I'll be going that later anyway. So stay tuned for the next video. All right. We have two packages today. It is late. I'm starving. So I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and open these. Um, all right. That's that. <clears throat> these are... What are these? These are the... Uh, um, caps for the five gallon water jugs for uh, six ninety nine, and you get like um, three of them I think <clears throat> I got these for the um, those big water jugs because <clears throat> the little pump I got fit a lot tighter and a lot better and won't fall off if you get these I didn't have any so I went ahead and bought them for $6.99 I guess there's uh, five five of them and you can um, <clears throat> they have a place here so you can actually uh, peel these out and then you have a hole in the top uh, I think once you put these on this helps you get them off so there is five of them for six bucks so not a bad deal <clears throat> and you only have to buy them once so I'll put an item uh, link in the description for these I'll take them to the shop tomorrow and uh, that way Josh can easily pump the water out and not have to worry about that little siphoner pump falling off it's a gift <laughs> All right, the next item, let's see what we got here. I am starving. Uh, all I had was a bag of chips all day. <laughs> Some soda, so. Actually, um, I had breakfast, but nothing after breakfast. So let's see what we have in here. It's kind of heavy. Hey, all right. This is just in time. Have an eat dinner yet so looks like I'm gonna have some tuna and some tuna <laughs> so what we what kind of tuna we got here I've always wondered about this uh, yellowfin tuna it's always a little bit more expensive and I'm like why is this stuff more expensive than any anything else I'm like well I'm and you only had to buy like um, eight of them and so I was like well I'm going to splurge and get me a, uh, try some of these yellow tuna. And the Starkist, let's see. These are premium quality yellowfin tuna by Genova. It is $12.99 for an 8-pack. So these are um, a lot, well, a little bit more expensive um, I know price of everything has gone up, but usually 
you can get these regular tunas for like a buck, right around a buck, sometimes on sale, a little less than a buck a can. Um, these are <clears throat> a little bit more expensive. So I'm going to try that out. And then these tuna creations from, uh, from uh, Starkist. Whoops. They give you four packs um, for, this aren't bad, this is a three ninety eight the variety pack you get uh, lemon pepper sweet um, pull these out so you can read it better sweet and spicy I've tried that one ranch hickory smoke and then lemon pepper this is the one Josh likes the lemon pepper I like the sweet and spicy one and usually what I'll do is I'll add this to a little bit of mayonnaise and then if you want to stretch it out you can add a little bit of uh, regular tuna to it but um, or you can put it on top of a salad but that's a cr pretty good deal it's only like a buck a piece and this is a good variety pack if you're going vacation or um, whatever or if you just want to you know have some food for uh, a quick easy meal another thing I like to do is uh, I'll just cook a little pot of rice and I'll just dump that over rice and you got an instant meal that's you know pretty nourishing uh, pretty and it fills you up and it tastes pretty good and if you don't have any spices you don't have anything in your refrigerator and you're a bachelor and you're just like you want something quick and easy um, you can get those uh, those preheat 90 second rice that's pre-cooked you throw it in there heat it up throw that on there mix it up and then you have a, a can of diet soda or whatever that's a really good little little meal especially when it's late at night you just you got home late you've been working all day you don't feel like messing up the kitchen and uh, all that good news all right here we go this is the uh, yellowfin tuna I know you guys probably tried this already I haven't I want to see what the big deal is I want and I love that these are great for camping too or um, you can just you don't have to have a can opener. A lot of these newer, I try to get uh, the cans that do this. That way you don't have to use a can opener. And you can take them with you. Just very, very super convenient. So, I already got my little setup here. <laughs> um, let's see what happens. These are, let's see. Tuna, um... These are, especially, the, I guess they're the Genova Yellow Tuna Fillets, and I think they're, oh, uh, these are in oil. Damn, I, I'm, I usually try to get them in water, so this is, I'm probably going to have to drain these and rinse them out. Let's see if this looks any different than the regular tuna. Kind of looks like the regular tuna to me. I don't know what's so special about it. It kind of has like, it's not very clean on the top. The albacore tuna actually is a lot cleaner. Kind of dry. I don't, I don't know. I don't see a huge difference right here, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if you guys prefer that more of a stronger tuna flavor. I, I really don't like the oil. I don't think they had an option, so I just got the one with uh, oil. I don't know. I don't, I don't prefer it any more than any other. It, it kind of tastes a little fishier. I don't think it's as clean. I don't know if this is just a, this can is a little bit different, but I think for the money, I would just buy the albacore. I just had a can yesterday and it was a lot cleaner. This looks like it was the bottom of the line. So I don't know. Let me open another one and see if it's just that can or maybe it's just uh maybe they're all like that. No, they're 
all about the same. So, yeah, I don't I don't know what the all the rave is. That to me that doesn't look like. I think I'd rather have um, albacore. Looks like they just put the whole thing in there. It's not really selected. It's not not um, grade A. It's just kind of like tune in a can, just like anything else. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, cook me some rice and mix this in with it and drain the oil off because this is super oily and uh, very fishy tasting. And I'm gonna have to break it down and uh, <clears throat> put some rice with it and some spice very dry very oily but I guess if you guys like when it's kind of salty too yeah I think for the money I'm gonna go ahead and get the albacore next time but it's not bad it's just not I thought it might be a little a step up from the regular generic tuna but yeah, that yellowtail is, uh, if they have a yellow, yellowtail, uh, albu like a white, white meat, like an albacore part of it, you know, something that's, uh, a little leaner within water, uh, but I guess that's what you get. I guess it's all, if that's premium, I don't, I don't think you're, uh, you're getting what, getting much more than you would if, uh, you bought anything else anyway that's just my opinion you guys might like to try it but I'm gonna go for the albacore next time <laughs> I'm not gonna eat this plain anymore I'm gonna mix it with stuff I'm not just gonna eat it straight out of the can I just want to do that to see if there was any difference um, taste wise or uh, any sodium difference but yeah I, I would not prefer this over anything else I think you're just paying a little bit more for it and uh, you're not really getting anything uh, any more value by going with the yellowtail but anyway if you guys have any uh, opinions let me know I don't know if I'm not buying the right stuff or or what but uh, definitely not impressed this is just, just another can of tuna to me so anyway this is Roger with Rogers reviews on the yellowtail tuna uh, by uh, Genova uh, Thumbs sideways. <laughs> Have a great day. God bless.